Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome back to Tesla's Wild. If you're new here, my name is Colin. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider liking and subscribing below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It does truly mean the world to me. Okay, so this is gonna be a kind of maintenance quick tip video. So what I want to talk about today is rotating your tires. So now, Tesla has a recommendation for this that I don't necessarily agree with. I think you should be much more aggressive with your tire rotations, and they're very, very much lax, even for an ICE vehicle, in my opinion. As we know that electric vehicles have uh, an insane amount of instantaneous torque and what this equates to is definitely chewing through tread much quicker than you would in a normal ice vehicle so rotating your tires is one of the more important maintenance aspects of a Tesla even though there aren't many at all this is one that you should pay attention to and I wanted to give my recommendation on how often you should do this for regular models as well as performance models so if this sounds interesting to you make sure you stay tuned and we will see you guys shortly all right so as we can see I do have my mileage pulled up here I'm at 13,262 miles in about nine months of ownership of this vehicle I also do have the owner's manual pulled up use the nice new searching function to look up tire maintenance as well and pulled up the tire rotation balance and wheel alignment recommendations for this vehicle Tesla recommends rotating the tires every 10 to 12 thousand miles or 16 to 20 thousand kilometers uh, I think this is just way too lax uh, you need to be doing it much more often than this all right so I do have my handy dandy tread depth measuring tool here we're gonna go around and measure the tread depth on all four tires as I said these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4s and they have about 8,000 miles on them brand new they have about 9.530 seconds tread depth inches sorry 9.530 second inches I'll put it in millimeters on the screen so let's go around and check these tread depths all right so as we can see we are right around 6 30 seconds so in 8,000 miles we've taken off about three and a half 30 seconds um, the recommended tread depth for rain is 5 30 seconds and the recommended tread depth for snow is 4 30 seconds so as you can see in about 8,000 miles we've lost quite a bit of tread keep in mind that I do race so these are probably wearing down faster than your C but in general they do wear down quite a bit quicker so let's check out this rear driver's side tire. So that one is just about exactly the same at 6.30 seconds. The rear passenger side tire is a bit lower. It's closer to 6, it seems. And the front right passenger side tire is also right around 6. It seems like this has the most tread. But as you can see, the tread wears down very quickly on these vehicles. All right, so as we saw, Tesla recommends that you rotate the tires every 10 to 12,000 miles. When I owned my ICE vehicle, I didn't even do it this often. This was way too far apart. I would do it with every oil change. I had fully synthetic oil, and I would do it about every 6,000 miles or so. Now, with my Tesla, I have been doing it about every 4,000, 4 to 5,000. So I'm actually right across the street from a big O tire. I'm going to get the tires rotated again. As you saw, we're at 13,000 miles, so this will be my third tire rotation since having the vehicle. So we've gone through about half of the tread life in 8,000 miles, and these are 30,000 mile tires. So as you can see, the tread goes down much, much quicker in these vehicles. Couple that with the power in the all-wheel drive variants being biased towards the rear, you're going to want to rotate these tires much more often. So like I said, I'm doing it every four to 5,000 miles to make sure that those tires are wearing evenly. If you have a rear-wheel drive version, I would probably do it even more often than that because your rear tires are taking the brunt of the power. Same with the all-wheel drive, but not as much. So that's my recommendation. I would do it every four to 5,000 instead of 10 to 12 like that. That would worry me about uneven and wear and causing major defects in the tires so I hope this video helped you guys if it did please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as always I have a lot of new content coming your way so make sure you stay tuned and we will see you guys next video